More details on Britt Baker's suspension and fine received by All Elite Wrestling, including the incident that led to this suspension involving AEW American champion MJF. When it occurred, what happened, why did it happen? The HR investigation that led to the decision to suspend Baker from All Elite Wrestling, as well as the question as to why MJF was not suspended himself. Hey guys, welcome back to Wrestling News 365. Hope everyone is doing very well. As always, there are plenty of news stories to get into. And of course, the biggest story today is the revelation that former AEW Women's World Champion Britt Baker has been suspended and fined by All Elite Wrestling after a backstage incident involving former AEW World Champion MJF as well as his girlfriend Alicia A. Taut, who also works with the AEW Broadcast team. Now, if you missed the original story earlier on today, it was originally broken by Dave Meltzer in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, later corroborated by Sean Ross Sapp of Fightful Select. Following an instant backstage at the July 17 episode of AEW Dynamite, former AEW Women's World Champion Britt Baker was reportedly issued with a fine and suspended from the company. Now, Britt Baker made her return, of course, at the AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door crossover pay-per-view on June 30, appearing after Mercedes Monet defeated Stephanie Vacqua. She had her first match back since September of 2023, facing Hikaru Shida on the Blood and Guts episode of AEW Dynamite on July 24. However, Dave Mouts revealed in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter today that Britt Baker has been suspended following comments made about MJF backstage on July 17. Now that is the uh, week before she had her match, the Blood and Guts match, uh, the match on the Blood and Guts episode rather of AEW Dynamite. Now writing in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Meltzer revealed what he knew about the situation, which has now kind of been expanded upon. But the original story, he said, quote, Britt Baker was suspended for either one or two weeks, fined by the company's disciplinary committee. Details have been kept pretty quiet. It came from something backstage at the July 17th Dynamite, where Baker allegedly said something about MJF. And Alicia A. Tout, MJF's girlfriend, heard it and told him and he confronted Baker. This led to an investigation with HR talking to people on July 24th, and I believe the disciplinary committee that did the investigation recommended that. I don't know if Tony Khan was or wasn't involved in this, and everyone was attempting to keep this under wraps. This all stems from problems in the past that weren't addressed, and a committee was put together to settle these things quickly. Most of those we heard from were sympathetic to her in this situation. Now, as I mentioned, Sean Ross Sapp not only confirmed the report that Dave Meltzer had put out, but now actually added quite a few extra details, including MJF being so frustrated that he punched a wall. Now, he confirmed that Britt Baker's suspension from AEW indeed is legitimate. And several weeks ago, an argument between Britt Baker and the former AEW world champion MJF occurred. Now, according to Sean Ross Sapp of Fight for Select, the word internally was that Britt Baker had exercised frustration about MJF within the women's locker room. Word then made it back to MJF as his girlfriend, Alicia A. Tout, was in the room. Now, as we spoke about earlier on, the details are he said, she said at this point, but Fightful have been told that there were confrontations with Britt Baker approaching Alicia A. Tout, as well as MJF and Baker. At one point, Will Ospreay also spoke with Baker, but Fightful were told that was not heated at all. Now, word was that Baker also took issue with A. Tout telling MJF about what was said in the locker room. There was a claim, according to Sap, from one person in the locker room that Baker cursed the eight out and wanted to kick her out of the locker room for discussing the conversation. Now, an argument broke out between MJF and Baker, which resulted in MJF punching a wall before his hour-long match against Will Ospreay on the Dynamite 250 episode. Now, according to Sean Ross Sapp, he then had to be taped up more than usual as a result of his frustration leading to him punching the wall. Now, the previous close friends, Britt Baker and MJF, reportedly had a falling out at some point over the last 12 months. HR got involved in the situation, which actually happened several weeks ago. Baker has appeared on TV since then, whilst the investigation was ongoing, but was legitimately suspended. Now, Fightful say they have spoken to some near the situation, uh, saying that MGF entered the woman's locker room to have the conversation. This is a situation that will have two very different sides to it, similar to the other instance we've heard about in AEW in the past. Now, Fightful say they've asked why MGF was also not suspended, and Fightful were told an investigation was conducted and numerous witnesses were interviewed and the suspension was decided upon. 
Now, the claim internally from AEW was that the suspension led to one side's version of the events being supported, though Fightful have spoken to talent that claim otherwise. The issue in general, reportedly, according to Sean Rossap, is divisive, and most talent that Fightful have heard from were, quote, over it already and hope to move on, with one saying they thought they'd left this kind of thing in the past. As of right now, Britt Baker is still planned to wrestle at AEW All-In, challenging Mercedes Monet for the AEW TBS Championship. If we get any more details on how this could affect all of that, of course, we'll let you know in an upcoming video. Now, just to kind of expand on this a little bit more, Ibo of WrestlePurist has added a little bit more context as to when this was and how this all came about. Now, he also confirmed that the incident in question happened the night of Dynamite 250, which does line up with the reporting of Dave Meltzer and Sean Ross Sapp. And this, he's saying this incident happened minutes after Osprey versus MJF. So the suggestion was possibly if you're going to add up this reporting that MJF was so frustrated with what he had heard or the situation, he punched the wall prior to his bout had to get taped up more than usual and then this confrontation between baker and himself happened after the bout according to this report now he also tweeted for what it's worth aw that being aw president and ceo tony khan as well as hr were sympathetic towards mjf after the altercation he faced zero punishment and was assured they'd handle the situation now, an interesting development on this as well comes from Andrew Zarian of the Mat Man podcast, who alluded to and suggested that this maybe wasn't the first time there has been an altercation involving Britt Baker during her tenure in All Elite Wrestling. Here's what he had to say. And interesting story here. Britt Baker was suspended by AEW following a backstage incident involving Britt Baker, MJF, and Alicia Atout. Atout? Atout? Atout. Atout. Okay. So... She allegedly made a comment backstage, and MJF confronted her after his match with, with Will Ospreay at Dynamite 250. This led to an investigation by HR and the company's disciplinary committee, <clears throat> which resulted in her suspension. Hence the mention of a suspension by Mercedes on Dynamite. Oh, interesting. So, I, I will say, okay, and this is not a one-off, okay? I, I don't you know, one one confrontation is not the reason mm -hmm. here. And I'll just right, that. right, right, right. I'm not saying with with MJF or or Alicia. I'm I'm just saying in general, uh, this is not the first time something has happened like this. Interesting. Where there's negativity, a little conflict, a little conflict. All right. I mean, it happens, right? Where you're dealing, where you're in a company, you're dealing with all these big personalities. You Listen, know. you're dealing with a lot of big personalities. You're dealing with a lot of people that. Um, where maybe I'm, I, and again, I'm just uh, this this part. Uh, the pr what I said before, <laughs> if you're gonna report it, uh, I will. I will say this isn't the first time there's been issues with Brit. Okay. I don't know what they are. I'm not. I'm not defending anybody. I'm not against anybody. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying what I know. I I'm. I don't know Brit. Mm. I'm sure she's lovely. Yeah. She's wonderful. Careful what you say, man. She's gonna take those shoes back. Yo, she's gonna take her shoes back. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Um, I. I don't know, but listen, it, it's you got to think your position really matters. You got to be very protective of it. The most successful people in wrestling in any sport are the ones or anything are the ones that are very uh, possessive of how they're being presented. Got to politics right? a little bit. Raven has a great quote, and I'm not I'm not using this derogatory mm -hmm. this term. If you're not the biggest mark for yourself, then who the hell is? Okay. So playing good, yourself off and not caring and not being as, you know, uh, being a little uh, whatever, you know, in your decision making. Yeah. It, nobody else is going to look out for you except for yourself. I, maybe it's some of that, you know, she she wants to be in the position she wants to be in. She uh, she's obviously a tremendous talent. Mm -hmm. I, you know, this only adds more to the storyline in a, in a weird way. And I hope that everybody can work it out and get along. You know, it's a very high pressure environment because, yeah, it's a team. You're in one company, but you're, you're, you're protecting yourself. Yeah. That's the goal. Whether or not Britt is right in whatever happened, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. 
So that's the latest developments and certainly an interesting tidbit there from Andrew Zarin suggesting that this may not be the first time there's been an incident involving Britt Baker in AEW. Of course, if we do get any more information on the incident in question, the suspension, the reaction from all parties involved, etc., we will let you know in an upcoming video. But what are your thoughts on the developments of today, what do you think this means for Britt Baker's future? What do you think this means for MJF's future? Do you think MJF should or shouldn't have been suspended? Do you think that this is unnecessary drama for AEW? Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Be sure to smash a like on the like button. Be sure to subscribe, bottom right hand corner. And I'll speak to you again very, very soon. Hey guys, thank you for watching, listening, streaming, or however you come across this video today. Be sure to click on the video there to watch our next video or click the bottom there to subscribe or the bottom right hand corner. Thank you very much and I'll speak to you again very soon.